This Heritage Humane Society's Pause for Pause segment is proudly sponsored by Mermaid Books. Boom. Fourteen minutes after nine o'clock here on Martin and Thumper in the morning. Jennifer, you're back. I am. Oh, yeah. We haven't seen Jennifer in a, a few weeks now because she has been working so hard over at Heritage Humane Society with that youth camp that you do all summer long. And I think the last one is next week, right? Yeah. So yeah. Our, our last camp starting on Monday, it's our fourth through sixth graders. Um, mm-hmm. And it's been a lot of fun. We've had a, a lot of great youth campers come and learn about the shelter, get a chance to help out. Um, and it's uh, it's great. Um, but yeah, last week, our next week is our last week. And then it's going to be fall pretty soon. So mm-hmm. I know all the kiddos are going back to school soon. Uh, <laughs> so it's right around the corner. <laughs> you know what? Uh, growing up, I always used to get so depressed after fourth of july because you would go in the yeah, stores you know. and they would have those banners <laughs> pumpkins and back to school yep. <laughs> and pencils and notebooks and paper and i'd say oh no i'm enjoying my summer I, i'm not ready yet but uh but you know it's going to be here whether we want it to be or mm-hmm. not yeah yeah and i did a college class this summer so I've been going to school year-round. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes. So you didn't really have much of a summer. <laughs> well, no, I didn't, as a matter of fact. Um, my kayak, I, I love to kayak in the Bank River, and it has not been in the water all summer. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I'm out of school now. So <laughs> Maybe we'll you'll see. get a chance. But anyway, I digress. Let's talk some animals here. Yeah. Uh, we, we've got Inky. And Blinky. Inky and Blinky. Yeah, we like to make it sisters. difficult. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's right. And uh, they've come over. You know, it is kitten season over Mm -hmm. at the Heritage Humane Society. And they have lots of adorable uh, kittens and uh, adult kitty cats as well. And they even have a career uh, program. Mm -hmm. If you have a barn or something like that, and if you'd like to kind of keep down the road and population, well, they've got that situation covered as well. Yeah, we kind of have uh, kitty cats for for all all different uh, environments, which is kind of cool. We have tons of uh, kittens that are up for adoption right now. Mm -hmm. Actually, our kitten area in our shelter is completely full. Um, and actually, there's still others that are in foster care, kind of waiting for space. Um, to in other words, it's been a very productive winter. It has, <laughs> yes. Um, so we have a, a ton of adorable kittens. Um, the two uh-huh. that I have with me today, Inky and Blinky, um, they're running around um, the uh, the kind of on the ground right now. So you'll be able to see the video, but they're super sweet, super fun. Um, so if you are interested in adopting, we have a lot of great kittens but we also have a lot of great adult cats and we do have our barn cat program um, Mm -hmm. where we do get in feral cats Um, and if you haven't heard about it yet definitely go to our website it's a really cool program not all shelters do it Um, but the feral kitty cats they need homes just as much as the cute fluff balls that like to hang out on your couch Um, and it's great because they're a great way to get rid of your rodents um, around your area so if Mm -hmm. you are thinking about getting a barn cat definitely go to our website because it's a a really amazing program. Well, that leads us into another thing we need to discuss, and you're doing Clear the Shelter. Doesn't that start uh, pretty soon, or it's underway now? So Clear the Shelter Day is um, this coming Saturday, which is the 17th. That's what I thought. Yeah. Um, so that's a national event um, that a lot of shelters pretty much throughout the United States kind of band together. And um, on this day each year, um, a lot of times they'll do adoption promotions and really try to get the word out about adopting animals from shelters. Mm-hmm. Um, so Heritage Humane Society actually all this week um, through the 17th, we're offering 50% off all adult pets. So it'd be nine months and older. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you were kind of thinking about it, and that would definitely be a great time. We have a ton of cats and dogs. Um, we also have some small critters. We have two guinea pigs and a rabbit at the shelter right now, too. Mm-hmm. Um, so definitely come by any day this week. Um, but Saturday is the official Clear the Shelters Day. Mm-hmm. So we'll have some extra things. We'll have some goodies for people to take home that are adopting from us. Um, but it'll be a great, great cause. Um, and hopefully we'll get some great adoptions this week. Well, I certainly hope so, because not only do you have that going on, I, I think you've got some other uh, things going on around town that, that uh, Heritage is involved with. Right? Yeah, so um, on Saturday to promote Clear the Shelters, we'll actually
actually be out at Pet Value, um, which they're off of Centerville. Um, and then we'll be at Pet Smart off of Monticello with adoptable pets. Um, so that way we can kind of spread out in the community um, so people can learn about the shelter and also learn about the adoptable dogs that we have. So they'll be out there in our cute Adopt Me vests. Um, and uh, please come by, even if you're just stopping by to get some food this weekend at PetSmart, you can come by, learn about Heritage Humane Society, pet a couple doggies. Um, but we'll be out there um, from 12 to 1 o'clock in each area. Mm-hmm. And speaking of which, Jennifer and I were talking about this uh, off the air. Uh, you know, she's been uh, very involved in camp over at Heritage Humane Society, and she hadn't been on with us in a few weeks. You know, Diane has been taking her place. And consequently, we were just discussing, do you realize that Drool in the Pool is on September 7th? And it that's is. just around it the corner. It is right around the corner. If you can believe that. I, it, I, yeah, I less can't, than a month. <laughs> I can't wrap my brain around that, but it's true. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. it's a, And it's a really cool event. If you guys uh, haven't heard of it before, it's uh, an annual event, um, and we do it over at the Chickahominy uh park pool and um they're really kind pretty much it's the saturday after labor day um, because normally they'll drain their pool but they uh don't drain it yet they uh give us access to it all day so it's from 9 a.m to 1 p.m and it's for for the dogs so you can bring your dog to the event so if you have a water loving pup um that likes to swim it's a really cool event where they have access to the pool um, all day long. We're going to have a food truck there, the Hungry Pug food truck, that's going to be selling breakfast and lunch stuff. Um, we're going to have Muddy Marley's there. Um, mm-hmm. They're a, a grooming um, center here, so they're going to be helping wash any pups that get uh, lots of chlorine on them during the mm-hmm. uh, um, event. And we'll have tons of food, uh, information about the shelter. Um, so it's going to be a really, really fun event. Um, so if you're interested in learning more, you can go to our website heritagehumane.org and um, it's just ten dollars per dog um, and it all goes right back to the shelter Mm -hmm. Um, so definitely check it out um, because we're we're very excited about it i think we're going to bring a few of our adoptable dogs too um, that uh that i think we'll really enjoy swimming in the water as well (laughs) (laughs) and they're off as they come around the corner and tell me those names one more time it's inky inky and blinky inky and blinky i think they have a sister too that's at the shelter named pinky not to confuse you even more pinky blinky and pinky (laughs) that that sounds like one of those tongue twisters we used to do at school learning how to be on the radio anyway well jennifer thank you so very much for coming out and make sure you go on the heritage website and also you can go on our facebook page and website and see this wonderful video and last but certainly not least we've got to thank our sponsor hadley mason over at mermaid books If it were not for Hadley and his staff, we wouldn't have a show. And normally, not to confuse you, we do this on Tuesdays Tuesdays. at 9.15. But due to the busyness with the camp and all that stuff, we moved it back to today. So we're glad to have Jennifer back and on the radio with us, right? And in two weeks, I'll be back to my Tuesdays. It'll be Tuesdays, and Diana will be back next Tuesday. Correct. That's right. We'll we'll get it all straight, (laughs) and then we'll have Jennifer from here to four, right? 22 minutes after 9 o'clock and more of the good stuff coming up. Mermaid Books is proud to have sponsored this Pause for Pause segment. Mermaid Books, used and rare books, antiques, vintage postcards, classic fiction, children's books, and of course, books about all creatures great and small. Mermaid Books is located downstairs at 421A Prince George Street in Merchant Square, Williamsburg. (laughs) 